Greetings Earthlings, my name is Zero Jake and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now, for the past hour I have been recording for uh, today's episode and uh, I only just realised that I muted my microphone all the way through so uh, none of it is actually usable because it's got running commentary and I can't remember what that was. But anyway, what we did, well, uh, to begin with, I crashed the mining ship in a far-off place, about 20 kilometers away, uh, in... Which direction? Or have I forgotten? Did I not place a marker? I swear I placed a marker where it was. Uh, anyway, if I do that... Uh, GPS, please. Mining wreck. Uh, yeah, so... I kind of wrecked the mining ship. It's not moving, so that's fine. We can go and uh, repair that or haul it back uh, when we have the resources. I still can't remember which ast Oh, right, it's over there. Yeah, mining wreck over there, uh, which is not good. Uh, that lost me, like, 50 uranium ingots, which is, uh, for some reason, I don't know why they were there, but they were there. Uh, so I came back here uh, after you know, running out of cobalt, which is why I was mining in the first place, so I could get some cobalt. Because, you know what? These metal grids use cobalt, and I need a ton of them. And I also need a ton more uh, steel plate as well, because the amount of heavy armor on here is... Well, the amount... How expensive heavy armor is, is ridiculous. Yeah, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, so the top half uh, of the ship has been uh, fully armored, and uh, it looks kind of cool. Uh, I'll put a paint job on it once uh, the entire thing is finished. I'll do a before and after picture, uh, but that won't be this episode. Uh, most of the systems are online. I just have to get some more goals for uh, superconductor conduits for all of the laser antennas, which I was calling radio antennas during uh, the entire hour of recording. Um, but yeah, most of the systems are operational. All the basic ones are operational. We even have the ability to uh, remote control. And that is what I'm going to show you in this brief episode. Um, I'm going to try and waffle as much as possible to inflate the time. But actually, no, that's kind of scumbaggy. So, uh, what we've got here is a laser antenna. Now, it's, it's, it's already linked because, of course, I did it uh, during the episode. But that's fine. Just checking, that's not an uh, urgent Evis. Or whatever the hell you're supposed to pronounce that pirate carrier. No, it's not. I'm keeping an eye out because that thing is annoying. Uh, right, so what we want to do... I've already renamed the uh, other ship, which is good. So what you want to do is you want to get your uh, laser antenna, which is here. Uh, and you want to copy coordinates. Any laser antenna will do, in fact. Uh, and then what you do is you go over to the other ship, which is over here. Uh, find a way to access its control panel, which I think I can do from here, and then go to control panel. Uh, and then you want to find the laser antenna in here, and then paste coordinates. And then you want to connect to coordinates. It will rotate the uh, antenna towards the correct area, and then it will establish a connection. And then you'll see here, it's established. Uh, you can, uh, you've got a list of known receivers that you can have. Um, but it resets uh, the receiver that you're uh, reconnecting to. Uh, and then you can say if it's a permanent connection, which means that if you move, then uh, it will automatically try to reconnect. So it can do that. This means that whenever this uh, antenna here goes out of sight, we just need to get in sight again, and then this will automatically connect. Fun times. Uh, so now this is connected to um, our antenna over here, which means that we can use the remote control system to pilot it ourselves without having to be there. Um, drawbacks not being able to use an external camera as efficiently as we can use it here. So what you do is you go over here, you can see a list of ships available to be uh, accessed in their control panels. So I can access everything here, everything that's actually built, um, but in order to control the ship directly I use the remote control which we placed in and control. Uh, as you can see, we can still only see the private sail. Uh, I'm holding Alt to moving my mouse. We can't do anything. That's because that's not how it works. Um, instead, uh, if I actually place this in the right area, so if I uh, rotate it this way, do the same thing. Remote control, control. 
So if I did this, you can see that I'm rotate. I'm uh, remote controlling the ship, and you can see it's, uh, it's target reticule. Now I'm going to rotate this ship down this way, and pull up a bit. So this means that the antenna, as you can see, uh, on the current bottom, which is actually the top of the vessel, uh, is what we're connecting to. Now since the other antennas aren't actually built, we can't do the entire 360, we've got full control of this nonsense. So instead we're going to have to uh, only use 100, uh, 180 degrees nearly of uh, control. Now uh, what we can do is we can press 1 to activate the camera that I've got, uh, which will mean that I'm using a camera instead of you know eyeballing it. And what we can also do is I want to get, no not that, uh, we want to get missiles. So I've already built a rocket launcher and like three missiles for it. So we're going to uh, put shoot once. So this, when activated, will fire a rocket. Hopefully it won't be so destructive. Uh, we can press T to get out of remote control and then T again to get out of the cockpit uh, because I forgot to add the uh, missiles to the cargo container, which is inside here past this connector, which is why there's a connector at all. Um, also so that we can like store things in it. Uh, and also access the reactor. If the reactor goes, we will have to dig our way there in order to uh, reactivate it, if we run out of fuel, which is not the best idea in the world. Probably should build some more redundant systems, but uh, that will be in uh, the attack drone mark too. So low, uh, remember that this also has a camera. The camera is uh, the Sage, uh, Ecto Sage's camera thing, because uh, the the regular one is not useful whatsoever. So let's control the ship, get this. Uh, as you can see, we've assigned uh, the missiles to two. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to use an, uh, a thing, a, oh god, we're not moving that much. Uh, I'm going to use a spectator camera to make sure that we're not going to hit anything because that would be kind of bad. Uh, you can kind of see that controls for spectator are a bit weird. Um, because I'm inside a ship, but uh, I'll get used to it. So you can see here, camera is on the top of the missile launcher, so that's good. Uh, we're all aligned to target. So let's go back in, uh, activate the camera, and then we should just be able to fire. As you can see, direct hit. And now we've got debris flying everywhere. Excellent. Uh, we're going to go into spectator and see what the damage is. Uh, as you can see, bit of damage, uh, though this is stone and therefore not that good at not getting hurt. Uh, so effects against a turret, it should be able to one shot um, interior turrets and antennas, which is what I want. I want this thing to be able to disable the antennas and the turrets so that then I can go in and uh, attack the vessel. This is purely a get rid of the defenses vessel and then we come in with the drone carrier. This will stay, you know, still once it's done its mission uh, and then we'll use the uh, the command carrier which is what I'm calling the private cell for now, we'll build a better one later uh, we'll use it to fly in and scrap the thing or at least dock with it and uh, slow it down which is good so uh, that's, that, that's kind of all for this episode because I recorded an hour and then failed to actually notice that I muted myself for the entire thing good going there uh, so, next episode we should have this completely done, uh, this uh, remote controlled drone of ours, and we should uh, have an opportunity to field test it, um, hopefully before the pirates come back wanting uh, their loot back. Until then, my name has been Zero Jake. Just double checking I'm actually not muted. Good, I'm not muted. Uh, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission.